Moving right along here, we're starting to pour the concrete. Uh, pretty much just using a normal cement mix, adding a little shredded fiberglass to uh, add some dimensional strength to the mix. But other than that, uh, you can see what we're doing and it's important to get a good slope here again. Nice time to have professional on the team. Bucket. One of the things you can do too is this drain is still a little bit flexible and a lot of times you can lift it up a little to help work some of the cement underneath the drain just to get even a better seal. You'll notice too that we poured this curb flat uh, which just makes it a whole lot easier. We're going to have that thing sloped in the end. You're going to create the slope when you lay the thin set. Also you need to make sure to taper that cement down but you don't want to take it exactly flush to the drain because you need to leave enough room for the tile which is going to be about three-eighths of an inch in the end. Just wanted to give you a quick peek too at the uh, instructional that comes with these liner kits. This can be helpful for the beginner or the homeowner trying to do it themselves. You can see we're topping her off here. It's important to let these pans cure three to four days minimum. Better to give it even a week. Here's just a look at the uh, slope ceiling with the 4 inch cans mounted. You can also see the uh, plumbed stub out for the rain shower head. A little bit of cement finish work here to complete the pan. <laughs> 